So I'm here on the Redbridge Causeway, taking a look at the work we've been doing over the last few years and uh, seeing what is yet left to do. Uh, I'm really sorry that there's been disruption and inconvenience for people as the lanes have been closed. Hopefully this will tell you a little bit more about why that's had to happen. We're at Redbridge Causeway, uh, which carries the A35 in and out of uh, Southampton. Um, we've got four bridges at this location. The bridges themselves are actually getting on a bit now, 100 years and almost 60 years. Um, they are showing signs from the harsh environment here. The salt water in the air has actually got through the concrete into the reinforcement, which is embedded in the concrete. Um, that then rusts away, and as it rusts, it expands, and that actually pushes off the concrete. So when we came here originally, there were a lot of locations where there was cracking, concrete that actually moved, and we could see the reinforcement. So we're actually repairing all of this, because if we don't, then the structure loses its capacity, and we'll end up with having to put on permanent lane closures, and if we did nothing at all, then eventually the bridges would actually have to be closed. So without doing any work, the bridges would fall down? Yes, okay. gradually, yeah. Okay. yeah. The reason for us having to put lane closures in place across the bridge is why at the moment? Well, the, the bridge on the other side, like built in the 60s, has a little bit more reinforcement, not as much as we would put in a brand new bridge these days, but these older ones built in the 30s, they have very little reinforcement within them. So as soon as that starts to go, we get problems with capacity. Um, all of our repairs have been phased so that we can keep traffic moving, um, but it's a much bigger challenge on this side because the bridges are much older um, and clearly we don't want to break out more and risk one of them collapsing. So right. we've had to do it phased, we've had to re release all the loading on it by putting them down to one lane uh, of traffic going across. So put in simple terms, having too much traffic going across at the minute could endanger the bridge because we're having to take away some of the concrete to we, renew it. While we repair it, we've right. got to reduce the loading on it. When it's done, what is the outcome? What do we have? It will, we, we will have repaired all, all four bridges. They'll all be yeah. done. Um, and the repairs will see it through for the foreseeable future. In the time it's taken, we could have built a new bridge. Could yeah. we? You certainly couldn't get in a new bridge. You would have to take these ones down. Uh, right. That would take all of the route out completely. Um, yeah. And it would take many, many years to do that. It would also cost an absolute fortune to do yeah. it as well. This site actually proposes an awful lot of problems actually, because we've got tidal water. So yeah. we have to work around the tides. Um, yeah. We've had to do out of hours working because obviously the tide changes all the time. Yeah. Uh, we've got the railway just over there as well and we need yeah. railway possessions for that. Uh, some of those possessions are at night, so we do have to do nighttime working, yeah. but some of them are during the day as well. Um, so we've had a mixture there. Um, we couldn't work 24 hours because we wouldn't be allowed to from the noise point of view. Right. Uh, but particularly at this end, we're very close to residential properties. Yeah. Um, and we have got it all shielded out and we've got noise curtains up. But even so, you can hear now the water jetting that's going on yeah. is a noisy operations. So hopefully that's explained to you how important this causeway is and why we need to replace it. It also has shown you why we can't have two lanes open but it is for a good purpose. At the end of this we'll have a bridge that is fit for the future. Um, so thanks everyone for your patience, thanks for looking for alternative routes and thanks for sticking with us while we get this work done.